All right. So let's go back through this again, guys. Um, so again, in this case, we want to factor this because we don't want to just multiply all our denominators to find the LCD. So when we factor this, we get n plus 4 times n minus 2. All right. And what we notice is that is our common denominator, our common least common factor denominator, because n minus 2 divides into that. It, this divides into itself, and n plus 4 divides into that. So then I'll write LCD equals n plus 4 times n minus 2. Now again, in the method that we're talking about today, we're going to multiply everything, every term, every single expression times this LCD. Okay. Now instead of writing it out, we are going to show this with using some little distributive, distributive property lines. So if I multiply n plus 4 times n minus 2, you guys can see that the n minus 2's divides out, because that's in the denominator, that's in the numerator, right? Terms are separated by multiplication. So I'll just be left with a 1 times n plus, n plus 4. Now, I don't really need to write that, but I'm just doing it for accounting purposes. The next one, if I multiply n plus 4 times n minus 2 times that whole expression, well, then you can see that these are just going to divide to 1, right? So, it would be 2n plus 1 so we're just left with 2n plus 1. Then, if I multiply this times that, you can see the n plus 4s would divide out, and you're just left with a 2 times n minus 2. If you don't put the parentheses there, then you're going to get it wrong, right? Because that's 2n minus 4. We lucked out here with the 1, because we didn't really need to write it, but I just did it for so you guys could see. But here, you don't do the parentheses. You get the problem wrong. So we have n plus 4 equals 2n plus 1 plus 2n minus 4. OK, and now, guys, it's just an um, algebra, algebra 1 problem. So get, combine your like terms, get them all to the same side. So let's see, that's going to be 4. So n plus 4 is equal to 4n minus 3. And let's do, so let's see, it would be 7 equals 3n n is equal to 7 thirds. Yes? No? Anybody checking my work? Looks good? Yeah? So far, so good. So far, so good. Now, um, there is one thing I forgot to mention to you. The, the other thing is our extraneous solutions. Those are solutions that are to the simplified equation, but not to the original. So do you guys notice when I multiplied by my LCD, I got a simplified equation? So whenever you check the answers to a simplified equation, you've got to make sure you plug them back in to make sure that they don't make your denominator equal to 0. And you guys can see none of these um, make my denominator equal to 0. So there's solutions to both equations. Okay? Huh? Yep. 